What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. It's about 9.20. Today's the big day. Five anabolic ice creams in 24 hours. This should be interesting. So here's the deal guys. We're gonna go through five different flavors, which a ton of you guys had submitted different flavors. So it'll be interesting to see what types of flavors that we go with today. You know, hey, options are endless. So sit back, relax, and see what awesome creations we come up with. But first up, we're gonna get some caffeine in, get a little leg workout in, and make sure there's plenty of space for an appetite. So you ready? I'm ready. Okay, you ready? High five. All right, she's ready, let's go. All right guys, so for the first recipe, I'm probably gonna do like a coffee mocha inspired feel. I don't know how it's gonna turn out, but we're gonna go ahead and just kind of throw some things in there, see if it comes out like a coffee mocha flavor and see if we hit the nail on the head in terms of flavor. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a scoop of cocoa powder, plain non-fat Greek yogurt. We'll probably do maybe a spoonful of instant coffee. Got some date syrup to kind of throw in a little bit of sugar and some dimension to the flavor. And then we'll throw in some protein. Oh yeah, guys. That is coming out real good. That date syrup is clutch. If you're gonna make a coffee one, make sure to add some date syrup to add some dimension. All right guys, bottoms down. All right guys, so it's 10-10. If you guys decided to make a coffee flavor, definitely add some date syrup in. You can find this stuff online. It's one of my favorites to, to have as a pre-workout. Um, it's a simple sugar that you could just take straight and just hit the gym. But we're gonna go ahead and finish this, and get to the gym, see you in a minute. I was browsing Reddit. Paul Rudd can snap some pretty solid pictures. <laughs> Create butt pictures using his fingers. I'm gonna have to try this talent. All right, guys, you tell me if that looks like somebody's ass. Ten twenty-five. just finished up the first one. Let's go ahead and get into a workout. We're gonna get a leg workout in. Um, I'll probably take you through a little bit. Music tends to be quite loud inside the gym, so I don't know if you're gonna actually be able to hear me. So I'll probably do eight sets of three at about 240, 245, and then probably a couple singles at around 280, 285. Guys, if you're heading up the gyms, make sure to suit up. What's going on guys? All right, we're back for recipe number two. There were a ton of requests for mango flavored ice creams. So mango, I guess it's just a popular fruit and flavor. So we're gonna go ahead and incorporate it, but it is about 1.30 in the afternoon. So I'm definitely a little behind and I've got a ton of housework that I gotta take care of today. 
So we're gonna get to it, but we're gonna use, I don't know, maybe a quarter or maybe a half of a mango. Dude, this, like, why is matcha so expensive? And then for protein, we're gonna go ahead and just use the fruity pebbles. So let's see how this turns out. All right, so since we're running behind, I'm gonna go ahead and down this. Gotta get some housework done. I'll probably take you through it. I don't know if you guys care for that, but uh, I'll show you a little bit. And then we're probably just gonna jump right into flavor number three. <sighs> Let's go. All right, guys, this one's just a lot creamier than the other one that I've had. I don't know if you can see that, but the matcha powder definitely comes out. The mango, the fruity pebbles, and the banana kind of all mix it together. So there's kind of a, a matcha with a little bit of a hint of tropical flavor coming through. Flavor's not too bad on this one. So we're gonna go ahead and finish this up and then we're gonna get to some housework. Alright guys, we're almost done. I gotta take out the blades, but I'll be right back. Number two, down. Whoo! Cupcake, all right, we gotta go mow the lawn. Let's go. Oh. So we gotta get some housework in. There's only one way to mow a lawn. Some horsepower, baby. That, my friends, is how you mow a lawn. And we're back for recipe number three. So it is 4.40. So I'm definitely not hungry right now, but with it being, you know, 4.40, 4.45, I know our coach, our doc, our life mentor would definitely say, try harder than last time. So we're gonna whip up a strawberry cheesecake anabolic ice cream by Jake O'Neill. We're gonna come up with a couple different ingredients here to kind of give that flavor. We've got salted caramel, PB2 powder, and then a vanilla sugar-free pudding. That's hopefully gonna kind of blend the ingredients together, give that crust taste. And then we're gonna get the berries in. I've got a mixture of uh, basically five and a half ounces here, and then I've got about six ounces of frozen strawberries, and then we'll throw in some Greek yogurt and whip it up, come up with something super tasty. I think this one needs a little bit of a special touch, so we're gonna put some PB, extra PB2 powder on there, give it some extra love. Oh, it's looking good! All right, guys, it's about five o'clock. We've got three more shakes to go. Strawberry cheese, berry cheesecake. Here we go. 
So guys, I think I'm about like 740, 730, somewhere in there in terms of total calories. All right guys, cheers. Ice cream number three, done. Hey, what's going on guys? All right, we're taking on recipe number four. It's Mai Tai, I'm back, I wanna say hi, and the best way to do it is by creating some Mai Tais. I mean, pineapple, mango, vanilla, anabolic ice cream. Let's go. All right, so the way that we're gonna do this is we've got fruity pebbles, protein, we're gonna throw in some pineapples, we got a mango, and then we can't forget the good old water flavor enhancer. So we're gonna throw in, this is a pineapple coconut. It's gonna give it that little kick, some island thyme, right? You know, thinking Mai Tais, palm trees, coconuts. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Okay, enough of that. All right, and then, you know, possibly a secret ingredient. No, 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 we're not putting that in there. The anabolic level of White Claw is a zero. Okay, all right, we're gonna keep it PG. Holy smokes. It's definitely island time. Guys, it's 6.30, 6.40. We're on our fourth recipe, fourth flavor. Brought to you by Sausage Sizzler. Thank you for the recommendation. All right, so we've got basically a tropical style ice cream. This is what the ice cream's looking like. It's a little melted just because I've been trying to set up the camera, but let's do a taste test. That's solid. Hey Cupcake, what do you think? <laughs> yeah, she approves. All right guys, let's get into it. Number four. What's going on guys? We are back for the last anabolic ice cream. Yes, it's time. It is 9.40. This is the last one. It's gonna end out the day. We're gonna go strong. We're gonna end it on a solid note. We got two flavors that came up and I just, I couldn't figure out which one to pick. So I'm just gonna kind of like combine them together. We got cookies and cream, peanut butter, and chocolate, peanut butter, banana. This is what we've got. Almond milk, Greek yogurt, PB powder, cocoa powder, Oreo, and we got the good old protein. All right, so we're gonna mix this up. See you in just a second. Oh my goodness. It smells like sweet glory. Solid as it can get. All right guys, fun fact. Did you know that the amount of Oreos made in a year can circle the earth in five times? Crazy, huh? Mind blown. Yeah, I didn't know that either. Thank goodness for cereal boxes. Facts you gotta know. We're wrapping up numero number five. I am super stoked to be on this last one. This has been a very interesting day. Um, the toilet will be a different story tomorrow. But besides that, let's see how this tastes. I think this one and probably the coffee mocha are probably my top two favorites. We're gonna go ahead and add some Oreo O's. It is 10.06.
We're done, guys. This caps off number five. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Seeing me crush five anabolic ice creams this day has been pretty rough, to say the least. But the flavors have been on point. I gotta say, coffee and this Oreo one, it's probably my two favorites. The flavors have just been spot on. So, usually in terms of calories, I'm at around 25, 2600. I know that I'm at about maybe 1800 for today. I'll put the calories up on the screen in just a second. With that being said, I'm a little under, so I'm gonna probably let my stomach settle and I'll probably make a couple trips to the bathroom, not gonna lie, but uh, do that and then probably get some solids into my stomach. So with that being said, thanks for watching. Appreciate the love and support. Make sure to subscribe and all that good jazz, but otherwise, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.